All right, welcome back, Elon gang. We are looking at Elon on the two week time frame. So, right now, what I want to take note of is where my cursor is at, which this is the week of October 10th or two week time frame of October 10th. And then I also want to take a look at November 7th. So, if we come down here to our RSI, what you can see is even if we do peak like a smidge lower on the RSI, you would technically have bullish divergence um, from October 10th or that two week time frame and where we are right now the only stipulation to that is as long as we don't break a low of six zeros 2272 so as long as you don't break that but the RSI does go lower you will have uh, bullish divergence there and then if you even look at the November 7th two week time frame this red candle right here that low is at 2421 currently our low for this two week time frame is at 2441 or 42 so technically that is higher however if we do come back over to the rsi that would be right on over here so you do technically have bullish divergence there as well seeing how the rsi went lower but the price did not so that being said let me reset that and let's hop back into what we normally look at so going from here that's on your two week if we switch back over to daily time frame so what we talked about yesterday was that we should be anticipating seeing a bounce from here as of right now on uh the log chart you can see that this channel that we're in we did tag the top of uh once again and so far today we currently are up 6.87 percent which this looks pretty good what did we say yesterday? We should be anticipating a bounce from here. We had our target tagged. What more could we ask for? And we actually perfectly tagged our 1.4 and 4 level yesterday. So we did peak a little bit lower. But even on the daily time frame, seeing this, what can we tell? That is a bullish engulfing candle. Now, if we go into the smaller time frames, such as the 4 hour, we are going to switch over to the linear chart right here. And what you can see is we are in this channel, whether you want to consider it a falling wedge or just the channel then either way ultimately they both end in the same result that you do end up breaking towards the upside right here now <clears throat> uh what we need to really see for confirmation of this in my opinion is we need to see a break above or a closure really above uh 28.88 and if we were to look at this for a channel the measured move for that would be assuming that we break out within the next like four hours or so uh, the measure move for that would be getting you up to about 30, uh, 30 flat, 30, 30, if you will, which would be getting you back to this like range high, essentially. So ideally you would want to break through there. Um, and then, I mean, is there anything else? Can we look at the one hour? Do we see anything noticeable here? Uh, not necessarily. You don't see anything really too noticeable here um but even looking at this inverted this does not necessarily look like something that we would be anticipating to see like just moon from here but we really do want to start seeing us break towards the upside from this point on and then i do also just want to reiterate from uh yesterday i'm going to switch this back to log now which one of the key things here is you can hide that stuff is the volume that we talked about if this is like the low low for the time being of this range then one we'd be making another higher low here and then on top of that the volume is also even lesser than what it was back here which if this is going along with white coffee accumulation what we'd ultimately want to see is that a successful test makes a higher low on lesser volume which is what we did see uh, i can try and like zoom in a little bit right here you can see the low that we made here in last june higher volume then we look to october lesser volume and then where we came to now is even lesser volume which is good to see so um other than that that's really about it for the video uh, i am anticipating a bit more upside uh getting up to probably 30 first and then from 30 is going to be an area where you would potentially end up finding resistance 
if you're able to get past there your main target is really going to be about the 40 flat if we do though back on our fibs uh you can see that our 618 is at 3503 so right about there um and then our 382 is actually at about 2969 so where that measure move gets us up to so we ideally want to break back above that 382 right there so other than that none of this financial advice these are all just my thoughts and opinions and you guys have a phenomenal day as always adios muchachos